Hello guys, what's up? My name is Yaman Rai and today I'm gonna teach you guys how to track your footage using After Effects CS6 built into the tracker and it's gonna be easy. Simple as that. So why am I doing this? Because I need to help you guys soon. Yeah. But uh yeah. So I got my footage here, I'm gonna drag it to the new comp and this is my footage. I place a tracker here so the video will be easily tracked. I mean this 3D tracker will easily track my footage. It's gonna uh, trim my footage, and this is the footage that I need to be tracked. So all you need to do is, if you on CS6, which is you, you are because you seem to be watching this because you have CS6. Yeah. So if you on CS6, I already oh, said that. So uh, you on CS6, you're gonna go to workspace and you're gonna go to motion tracking, and you got yourself a track camera. But if you don't want to go in workspace like oh my god workspace is too far away and uh, so you're just gonna go to animation tab and gonna go to track camera but I'm just gonna stay to workspace the tracker don't click the track motion track motion if you want to track any motion you know like if you want to if you're moving your hand and then you're gonna you're gonna and then you want to track your hand not your whole camera so you're gonna go track motion you're doing the motion okay if you want to track the whole camera to put any 3D object in it like that you're gonna go to track camera so I'm gonna do track camera and it's gonna analyzing in background so if you see here the analyzing and it's, it's tracking and calculating the frames I got 453 frames so it's gonna calculate all the frames and once you've done that once you've done calculating it's gonna solve the camera so, so once this is done solving your tracking is finished so I'm gonna see you guys after the tracking is finished it's solving camera and it's done tracking so now all you need to do is you need to understand about the tracking points in here so you can if you want to uh, every tracking points you need to put null object but you don't have to put on all null object you just need to find the, cert the suitable tracking points that you want to be null I don't know what I'm talking about but I hope you young guys understand so I got here the perfect four tracking points that has been tracked but After Effects CS6 mm -hmm. only accept three track points because that is what they do I don't know what I'm talking about but I'm just gonna scrub over and see this is perfect see here here this, this is perfect so all you need to do is just mouse over any m in the middle or you can just go one tracking and you go just just gonna go right click and create null in camera but I'm gonna make myself a nice floor so I'm just gonna go here in the middle and then right click that gonna create null in camera so once I've done that I'm gonna do it again same place right click and create solid the solid will act as a floor so you can easily put anything that you want onto the solid uh, above the solid so you can you know the solid will act as a floor that's what I said before so once I scrub over here, the solid now and the trackings are perfectly aligned with the camera. See that? That is very nice. It looks like a piece of paper. But that, yeah. So once you've done that, all you need to do is just put anything that you want. I'm gonna put some text. I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna call this one nipples. Yeah, yeah, nipples. So once you've done that, I'm just gonna go here and make sure you change your file your object to a 3d layer once you've done that just scrub over la, la, la. you can see all this nipples is on top of it but you need to put your object on top of the solid so all you need to do that all you need to do is go to solid hit P go to position copy that by hitting the control C or you can just go to you can just go to edit copy but I'm gonna go shortcut uh, gonna gonna position control C gonna go to your object hit P position control V or paste and add it and I mean uh, once you've done that turn off your track solid by hitting this button once you scrub over oh I can see that nipples are now st stuck on the table <laughs> so now you're gonna rotate your object or you don't want to if you want to but uh, I'm just gonna rotate my uh, nipples rotate my nipples hit S to scale it up that is a very, very large nipple 
and then once I scrub over you get very nice nipples have been tracked to a table very nice so now to add more classy looking duplicate that and I'm just gonna make this as a shadow here's the cache on if you guys still know how to do this but you guys want to make a shadow here's the very, very easy tip duplicate your file and I'm just gonna name this nipple shadow should have that so now you're gonna go to effect go to perspective go to, to go to drop shadow and check shadow only there you go you have your own shadow just load down the opacity 50 and let's go over there you go you got yourself a nice shadow and uh, just add a little caution blur so the shadow are a little bit blurry looking like so there you go you got yourself a nice nipple with shadow that tracks on the table <laughs> that's it yeah so I think that's it if you guys want more tutorial be sure to comment down below and uh, any tutorial any effect that you want me to do I just pretty sure will try my best to do it and uh, I would post more tutorial from now on from today until in the middle of December because my friend having exam so having a big exam for them so I'm not uh, gonna interrupt them so I'm just gonna make sure they did their best and uh, maybe I will post on how to use it, how to track using a mocha using bourgeois using synthize and I will pretty much see you guys next time I hope this tutorial helped you guys and uh, if you guys didn't understand what I'm saying sorry I'm Asian it's hard for Asian to speak in English uh, sometimes my English broke broken I see this is the see I just said that uh, the broken English <laughs> So yeah, thanks for watching. My name is Hillman and I'll see you guys next time. Comment down below. Please hit the subscribe button for more t tutorials. And uh, I'm doing the hand motion right now. You can, you guys can see it, but I'm doing the comment down below motion. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, see you guys next time. My name is Hillman and peace out.